Okay, I'm still deciding what kind of uh, layout and what parts I will be using in this case. So in order to keep going, as it seems to start getting stuck in the limbo again, I'd like to do some elbow grease type of work, prepare a motherboard, put CPU block on, and while I start working, things will come to me. So, I have this uh, motherboard that I was a little bit critiqued, that it's old, but uh, for my particular purpose, it will be perfectly fine. Uh, what I need to do, clean CPU area, will put backplate in place, and I also will reuse uh, revision 1 each AK Supreme block that I had in my 800D build. This uh, not super powerful computer, so this block will work just perfectly fine for my purpose. On the way, I also would like to have a little sidetrack. So this block was used almost a year, and the system was cleaned many times and was used for a while. So I expect that not much inside of this block at this point. So before we'll start work with motherboard, what I want to do, just quickly unscrew the block and see if there anything inside of it and um, let me start working on it and uh, I probably will cut some pieces so it will be faster for you we'll okay, see two cold screws out so let's see what's inside still all right still some stuff you can see it's dried up already because I wore the block have this old type of Impeachment plate that I probably will replace with something less restrictive. And um, so basically, I use a, this block for about a year. This was a dust mode protector first, then I use Fizzer Base Green and uh, drain it and use um, dust mode protector again, so it was like three changes of liquid throughout the year time and you can see that there's still some stuff stuff, stuff accumulated on the fins it can be removed pretty easily but block itself not really oxidated pretty nice comparing with the other side you can see oxidation on the pla place where we have a thermal grease on. Alright, so I'll assemble it back and we'll start cleaning motherboard and others. There's a couple modifications I would like to do on the way. This is my original block that just disassembled. So first thing is um, I have this blue top nobody using, um, nobody wants it so I'll just use it instead of my existing uh, black acetal and uh, also I would like to see if we have this plate that I just take out of the block and this new plate number 6 it's supposed to be the best performing plate for current generation of HF and if you align two together you can see it's basically one thing it's identical on the size so I can can use it in my current my current configuration and um, just put o-rings from old block to new block and put everything together simple as that so I can get some sort of um, Pressure look. Check it out. I make it correct. So, put get a little bit fresher look comparing to what I had before. I wouldn't bother you with uh, showing screwing those screws in place and we'll just continue with the motherboard and final minute. result looks pretty neat I remember that when um, current generation of HF showed up everybody like oh my god 
the saw head, the saw wall shape and the square looks so cool but after a year passed and uh, I see so many square ones now I think that all of looks pretty cool so uh, it's kind of interesting anyways so that part is done block is ready and next step will be cleaning cleaning the CPU area and um, maybe we can do it actually later let's put back plate in place so what you need to do is to unscrew those three screws here, here as well and then you can lift carefully entire bracket out and put aside because you will need it later when you lift your motherboard you will see that original backplate gone you get disconnected and um, you will need to put your replacement backplate instead of what you had before so that's what you have it's easiest to start right there you put this screw in which is doesn't hold bracket but it will fixate backplate in place and then you can align those other two holes and put actual bracket in uh, my hand will abstract the view so I will not film right now but um, I'll show you final result okay so with the screw in the bracket now stays in place and you can align your holes perfectly as it shouldn't be and then it's much easier to put the actual bracket in place and fix it with the remaining two screws and uh, I guess the trick is here is not destroy your socket on the way while you're doing this now when I have everything safely in, in place I can return CPU in Because I have a very first version of Primitive block and I don't want to go through all those tricks with the easy mounting mechanism because I need additional parts and everything spacers so I will go old school and will use the original mounting mechanism it was criticized a lot by users for difficulties to put on but it's not difficult for me so I'll just go ahead and install it the critique come from two things one is you actually need to put some screws through the motherboard and tighten them up properly which potentially bring you to danger of damaging motherboard on the way and secondly then when you actually mount block on you need to measure the distance and kind of guess pressure you want to put on a system and uh, not just screwing cup to the end which is brandless process and much easier for people who just start with a cooling for example but this note top of the line parts anyways and um, I know how to do it so it will be pretty easy process for me Not rocket science. And some microfiber and the proper cleaning solution can help you to clean old
thermal paste and then you can apply new team and start looking to play put block in place I know lots of people uh, don't like this method but um, I usually spread so the fact that I use spreading method doesn't mean you need to follow me you can use whatever you like you play it paste by your favorite method you need to clean bottom of your block as well make sure it's clean out of all uh, fingerprints and stuff like this and um, after that you install install your block I usually go horizontal orientation some people say this way or other way is better but I found that whatever way you install it seems to work the same basically what I'll do here put the spring in place washers quite important because you might get shavings when you tie tied up your nuts you want you can put this as well it doesn't really make any difference just make it a little bit more slippery and put stuff on top and as usual you tied up block in, in cross manner in here nineteen there just another this little bit So I need to let this go a little bit. One thing yeah. you can't really complain about this case is that you see you have so many options for your uh, cable management so you can hide cables and it also look like that the distance here is probably a little bit more than half inch should be enough to hide all cables and flatten them out although space is pretty limited so I'm thinking to using extensions cables for this particular build I don't know if I can hide everything behind the motherboard or not but we'll see later for now I just go with uh, standard cables as is for all cables tackle in that's my front panel connection, power supply uh, for the motherboard, CPU power video unfortunately here, sorry audio is here so I have to hide it on the bottom of the motherboard but overall looks so far still pretty clean now I need to make final decision if I go with the sick rod or thin rod because um, this will determine what kind of fan I have on the back of the case and uh, maybe some other 
layout. We'll try them again and um, tell you what's final.